The daughter of Holocaust survivors is experiencing her father's past in a whole new way. A photo editor transformed an old black and white photo, making the scene more vivid than ever before. And as Dahlia Ashry reports, the surprise discovery started with a visit to a Holocaust exhibit. Once a dark part of history. Grayish blue shirt with his eyes closed is my dad at Liberation on May 6, 1945. Now a colorful picture. Photographed is Marvin Menachem Holtzman, a Holocaust survivor and the father of Rebecca Holtzman. Several years ago, Holtzman was particularly drawn to this black and white picture at an exhibit in Toronto. And I had to take a step back and actually lean against the wall because I realized one of the men in that picture was my dad. The exhibit gave her a copy which she took home and showed her father. He passed away in 2012. Just seeing the black and white photo I remember we just sat quietly together, holding hands when I showed it to him. Last year, she came across captivating pictures online, once black and white, brought to life by British photo colorizer Tom Marshall, a Holocaust Memorial Day exhibit marking 75 years since the liberation of Auschwitz. Rebecca emailed me when she'd seen her. Um, saw her father in the picture. The colorization process took more than 10 hours and a great deal of research. Rosiness in the cheeks and that sort of thing that, that people naturally have, but a lot of these faces, they were starving and um, malnourished, you know. They almost had gray, gray skin. Marshall says that's why this project in particular was difficult. It's uh, it was quite emotional too to see those faces um, coming back to life and in front of you really on the screen. The daughter of Holocaust survivors is now left with a few photographs of her late parents after the war. Holtzman isn't sure whether she will have the black and white ones colored, but one thing is for certain, her gratitude to Marshall. For someone with um, especially no connection, no direct connection to the Holocaust to take his time and to do such a thing and to provide um, all of us with really such a gift. I would never be able to thank you enough. Dahlia Ashry, CBC News, Toronto.